Good Wednesday morning, and we just received an update from the National Hurricane Center, and this is terrible news as Hurricane Ian is a cap four, but continuing to intensify. Max sustained winds now of 155 miles an hour, meaning that it is almost approaching a category five. If we just increase those winds by one mile an hour, then it would be considered and classified a category five hurricane. Either way, it is dangerous and potentially deadly here as life threatening storm surge flash flooding will be possible here along the southwest coast that I is approaching right now the Fort Myers area and the southwest coast of Florida and you can see how massive and how powerful Ian is and we take a look at the forecast track it is expected to continue approaching the southwest coast this morning making landfall sometime later today it could be early afternoon it could be anywhere from Port Charles to Fort Myers and it could very well be a cat five when it makes landfall because it continues to strengthen the pressure continues to drop now we are going to see once it moves on land, it'll weaken to a category one hurricane, still a hurricane moving possibly across Orlando and central Florida and then becoming a tropical storm as we head into tomorrow afternoon before it moves into the western Atlantic and then heads back northwestward into Georgia and the Carolinas as a tropical storm and then becomes a depression. So not only much of the state of Florida dealing with the impacts from Ian, but also much of the southeast and a tornado watch continues until 5 p.m. We've been dealing with tornado warnings and reports of tornado touchdowns since last night and overnight. Now for the lower key storm surge warning from Big Pine to Key West, hurricane wind gusts possible up to 50 to 80 miles per hour, storm surge of three to five feet. Miami-Dade and Broward, tropical storm storm conditions still possible with gusty downpours winds gusting 35 to 50 miles per hour possible right now let's send it over to Dave with a look at that local radar yeah keep an eye on the uh, radar because that shows exactly where the storm is where the strongest winds are right around the center here and it is just off the coast of Naples another rain band here moving on shore and that's where you find some gusty winds developing here so it's this area uh, and we watch this closely as it continues to track likely passing just to the north of Naples as the whole storm itself begins to move north. But that outer band uh, there that's approaching the coastline, seeing a wind gust of 51 miles an hour in Naples, 35 in Fort Myers. Just to the south, as these bands swing through the lower keys, you having a wind gust of 52 in Key West, 41 degrees uh, or 41 miles an hour there in, in Marathon. But the persistent wind out of the southeast is continuing to bring the water into the island chain there. High tide coming in around midday today, so that's when we could see more flooding. Southeast wind with the 20, 25 mile an hour sustained 30, 35 mile an hour gusts. Individual squalls here could contain very gusty wind. This is what we've seen overnight last night and this morning with these tornadoes where the radar picks up rotation. We're always monitoring that to watch in effect till five o'clock this afternoon. So any warnings that come in and we will update uh, that uh, here today. So so, uh, this continues to spin to the north. Little activity right along the coast here. Uh, this is the future wind speeds and the wind gusts. And it looks like between about 10 and 12 today, the storm approaches the coastline here. Again, this is just one computer forecast, but showing when uh, the uh, strongest winds likely. Looks like late morning, early afternoon as the storm approaches the coastline, makes landfall, and then begins to push inland here. Wind speeds will be lifting north with it, so tropical storm force winds lifting to the north, ending from south to north as the storm itself uh, is over land and continues to move off to the northeast. Extended forecast will stay alert today, even to early tomorrow, for these squalls and uh, gusty wind that could can contain, be contained within these showers and storms that move through the area. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, things get a little calmer. We'll keep the storms in the forecast, uh, uh, but uh, the uh, sunshine, showers and storms, rain chances right at 50% there for the rest of the weekend and the start of next week.